To the members of the graduating class of 2020, first, I want to offer my personal congratulations to all of you on the completion of your program and meeting the requirements for graduation. You number 575 bachelor, master's, and doctoral candidates. This is a great accomplishment and achievement, and one you and your families are very proud of, and you should be. The entire university, the faculty, administrators, staff, and the Board of Trustees join me in their congratulations. In this time, an unprecedented of a pandemic, a global pandemic in our country, in the world, we, you are left campus during spring break and you never returned in the same way to complete your courses. Unless, of course, you were in an online class already. You have experienced loss. You've made many sacrifices and hardships, but you have also demonstrated flexibility, perseverance, resiliency, and courage during this time. You are indeed Carlo graduates of courage. You join a legacy of graduates who face peril and uncertainty in the world at the time of their graduation. The very first graduates in the early 1930s from Carlo University faced a national depression and other grads have faced world wars and national and global turbulence, not unlike what you face today. Carlo grads, though, are risk takers, entrepreneurs, and change makers who are driven by what is right, their values, and making a difference in their community, all in the pursuit of the creation of a just and merciful world. You are ready and more than prepared to make that impact on the world. And the world really needs you now. We need all the healthcare providers, the scientists and researchers, the teachers, the business people, the writers and artists, the counselors, the social workers, all of you, no matter your major or degree, are needed now. We need your critical thinking, your creativity, innovation, and leadership to tackle the challenges we face and make a difference in our community and the world. While we will not be together as soldiers and sailors this Saturday to celebrate you in person, and I won't be able to shake your hand that I look forward to every year, we celebrate you now, this week and throughout the entire month of May. And we will come together in December, play pomp and circumstance, so you, your family and friends can see and celebrate you again and all together. I know, and your parents, your spouses, your family and friends know, your professors know that you are ready for what lies ahead and will do so with courage and strength. I will want you to know you are the class of 2020 and you did not give up. I will continue to pray for you in the days ahead that the grace of God will sustain and support you all the days of your lives. Please know, congratulations again, and God bless you all.